Neato, cool beans. Uh, we will go here. The first Winchester is the 25th of May of 1862. We've decided to launch offensive operations on the Union forces in Shenandoah Valley, preventing them from reinforcing their offensive against Richmond. We must use a bold strategy by employing audacity and rapid, unpredictable movements on the whole valley. Therefore, you'll use a small, flexible force. The rest of your army will take positions on the outskirts of the capital. Union commander of the department of the Shenandoah M.G. Nathaniel P. Banks attempting to reorganize his army at Winchester and defend the town. Move swiftly. Attack that Union force. If we win, we get $65,000, 4,400 men, and a reputation increase of. Uh, they are deploying 9,900 soldiers across 30 guns, 15 brigades. Uh, that's their potential there. Uh, we won't deploy all 14,000, obviously. Uh, we only have eight slots, and we'll actually use all infantry for this. Uh, it seems that the feds decided to give a battle and deployed around the town of Winchester. Our scouts report General Banks is no more than four brigades supported by artillery and light units. You'll have at your disposal a significant force to crush the fed army and capture the city. Woo! The enemy is outnumbered, so we need you to prevail in the field. Bring us victory and inflict at least 30% more casualties to the enemy. Oh, just... That's actually really good. Blueberry and sour apple. Okay. I've got my 340. My 340. <clears throat> and Seb's over here. Now I just need like my biggest army. There we go. And then we'll move Havoc and Flies. Cool beans. Let's go here, here, and here for now. All of you guys just deploy around yonder this way. Uh, and I'll kind of keep with you. All right. So we have two hours and 26 minutes to hold Winchester. It should be very easily doable. I've done this several times. I know the strategy. Uh, we should be rocking. Playing the waiting game. So I am rocking 11,200. We aren't going to run. We've got plenty of time to capture them. <clears throat> so I'm not concerned about that at all. Okay, now that this area is secure, I'm going to bring a guy around here. And... Um, yeah, I'll bring my other 300, dude. We'll leave all the 250s. We got some skirmishing going on, which is fine. Hold it. Those guys around. Move these dudes around. Basically, what we're going to do is we need to capture this point. There's going to be guys here and in here. So I'm going to distract them with this front force. And then these boyos. Capture the town, pincer maneuver, typical, amazing efforts on all of our troops. Close. Here they're marching drum. We are getting hit. Okay. So I have no reconnaissance on these guys whatsoever. We're going to take uh, Cal Benz. There we go. At least have something. Okay, cool. Double time. May even single time it for a little bit. Now you guys are going to run and capture the, the town. I'm going to send you guys over here. You're going to run as well. Perfect. So they know we're here. 100%. What a rookie move. What a rookie mistake. Oh, snap! Counter charge. Oh, cool. There's Cav there. 
50. Neato. Cool beans. Awesome. Run, please. No! Take it back. Sweet. We've got it. Fantastic. Go here. You guys come here. Boom, boom. The day is ours. Uh, I really need you to go... We'll detach skirmishers. I haven't played the skirmish game much. Uh, you know what? They may not have much else in here. Dang it. I really need those skirmishers to get that guy. Oh, crap. That's a big amount of uh, people. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, well, you know what? We can play this game. Uh, Sebastios, I hope you're not watching because your troops are getting wrecked. We're taking on those skirmishers. Oh, that's a hurting. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Holy flipping flaps, dude. Move on in. Yeah, go ahead and fire as many volleys as you can into them. I just really need those guys. I really need the supplies. Cool. It doesn't look like they have anyone else in here. Although that army is going to go here. I need you to stop running, please. You don't get too wore out. Uh, we're not doing fantastic on this. Not gonna lie. But we'll push them. Dang it. You know what? Forget it. It's not worth it. Come down here. You guys go after those. We'll come face up here a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's safe to say we can pull the double speed and be okay. Come on. Kill the cannons. Kill the cannons. Make them route. Nice. Kill banks. Shoot banks. Hi, kiddo. What's up? Okay. Wave? You're just gonna sit there and stare. Okay. So we're gonna fall back. Face those cav come. I'm gonna push up here. I think it's safe to say we could push those guys up and we'll be good. We'll be good for the rest of the time. Unless we get rear flanked. That won't last though. Sweet. All right, we got it. Go ahead and charge them. Could cause them to rout. I wish it would just disappear. Okay. All right. We can double. Double time it. Okay, we got it. Nexus not hit them? Surely you can. And now. I'm gonna have him sit back. Alright. That was a relatively straightforward victory. You know what? Let's go ahead and fight this a little bit.
and at least give me some good experience at the least and then more weapons and stuff at the most Uh, let's go ahead and bring Radis over here too. Ammo? Yeah, we need more ammo. Unfortunately, I have no supplies. Get havoc into here. This is the kind of nice thing about playing with the limited to try and combat scaling is that like I can lose a lot of people because I have I will get a ton of money from the victory and then I'll be able to recover because I have way more than enough men there we go there's one set of cannons gone And we won't pursue them the like complete and total ridiculous way. We will uh, wreck them as much as we can. Fall back. As much as it makes sense and we're able to. Without losing men unnecessarily. This is where I wish I had a nice pair of uh, cavalry. I think we're good. Cool. All right. So, obvious win. Uh, they deployed 8,000. They lost almost four. We deployed 11,000. We only lost 890. Very evident by the fact that we own all of the top kills. Uh, everyone got promoted. No one died, which is good. And then, I mean, we didn't get too many. Uh, we did rescue all of our supplies, so that's good to know. Uh, we had captured a few Springfield 1840. Nothing too. Works for me. Gets me the W. That's all I care about. The Homeland Defense Cross. Awesome. Hmm. Let's go into... Let's go into logistics. Get some more ammo. Radis, uh, you didn't lose that many troops. Nexus actually didn't either. I thought he lost a lot. Who lost? Oh, Seb lost a lot. But he also got to rank 2. And we're going to do firearms course. Because that's the kind of the best thing for our situation. Yeah, well, this is cake. We can almost, we can pretty much start like leveling everyone up using veterans, which is going to eventually give us a much more veteran army. Uh, and then actually we can keep all those because we're keeping that. Uh, I'm not going to use things unnecessarily. But I do need to remember that we have those Napoleons go keep a nice supply of um, melee cav we don't really need any parrots or rose whatever the crap call them uh, and we're good to go from there all right 